In the box model, what is the box model is, this is also a one part of CSS, the amount of space between the content of an element and its border is called padding, remember this. The amount of space between the contain, whatever the contain in the table of an element and its border is called padding. Next, the space between the bo border and an adjacent element is called margin, space between the borders, whatever the space between the borders, that is adjacent element is called margin. So, this is a model of uh, box, first contain, inner edge and padding and this is a border and this is a margin, okay, margin and padding. Padding means between the contain and the border, between whatever you have a contain, contain and the border between that and from the border and outer edge is margin. We will see here, see border, every element has a border property, border is style that control whether the elements contain has a border, okay. The pos possible value are maybe a dotted, dash, solid, double or none, means every border has some style and that is style may be a possible dotted, dash, solid double or none. So, when you see the next page here, you will easily understand. Can you see this is a dotted, okay, and this is a double and this is a dash, okay, and if it is default, then it is a normal. So, here the border example is fruit juice, this is a caption, this is a caption and we have given apple, orange, okay, screwdriver, breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything in the sa sample data is here, how to create this and how to give this dash line, dot line, dash line, okay, how we need to give this dark. So, here the code for that, what is this? In the HTML, margin and padding more focusing on margin and padding. So, here we have given the table properties and it is written in the style group, border thin solid black, okay. This is normal code is written, but here border top, but here border top, okay, border top style is dotted, where it is dotted, top, top means can you see in the output top is dotted. Next, border bottom style is dash, so in the bottom what we are doing, we are taking dashes, bottom is also okay. Border top color is red, border top color is red, this dotted line will be in the red color. Next, border bottom color is blue, so this will be in blue color. Border bottom width is thick, bottom, can you see in this is very thin and here the thick. Border top width is medium, so this is medium. Okay, this is a change and what is this and this? This is a default size of the table, okay. And what is this TD and TH? Border thin solid black, thin, can you see this TH and TD, this. So, this is about the style, CSS, okay, style, CSS. Okay, so now the head is closed, now open the body tag, we gave the thing in the style, now we need to use this style in the code, in the HTML code. So, here the caption fruit juice, drinks, 
tr table row table heading nothing because why it is nothing because here we are not writing anything next th apple and th orange th screwdriver okay screwdriver so this is about tr first row first row what is first row apple orange and screwdriver yes i got it next next second row tr th is breakfast okay breakfast and td is 0 td 1 td 0 td 0 td 1 td 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 that is another row next row tr is lunch lunch td 1 0 0 Ta table definition is 1 0 0 next next tr we already have finished this table that is why I am going fast. So, tr is th dinner okay, and td 0, td 0, td 1. So, that will be available in this table all the values and we close the we close the table here closing tag and this is opening tag. Next, next one is I am giving to a specific paragraph p style p style is equals to border style is dashed okay dashed means like this dash okay now is this time for all good programmers to learn to use style sheet okay if you are a good programmer then you can you have to learn the style sheet to decorate the website so this is like a box is created for that paragraph border style. So this is a code to display this much contain and this is very easy when we go for the practical then it will be easy for you to how to get the data from the CSS. Okay. So this is a simple thing we have finished border margin and padding this is very very important whenever you develop the website or web page at that time you must uh, concentrate whenever we have a table you have to concentrate of the margin and the padding otherwise if you con did not concentrate on the margin then your table will not appear in a proper way next next is next is the margin around and HTML object can be set in the margin left, margin right, margin left, margin right, margin top, margin bottom. Just assign them the length value. Okay. Margin is what from whole page. Margin is nothing but if we have a page like this. Okay. This will be the left margin and this will be the right margin right margin means you need to give some space okay give some space in this whole page just we are writing the content of the data here we are not writing here so left right top and bottom so this is about the margin next background image in place of background color you can add the background image also that is with the help of background image property is used to place an image in a background of an element for example an image of an airplane might be an effective background for the text about the airplane okay if example if we have a uh, image of aeroplane might be effective background for the text about the aeroplane. If you add the image of aeroplane, if you are writing something text, then it will be a good combination of that. So, what is the style? We are giving the style for the body is background color, sorry, background image is to URL. URL means from where you are getting the image and 
dot dot slash from in image folder and plain dot jpg this is my file and what is a background size background size will be 375 px to 300 300px so this is about the background image you can add the background image in place of background color also okay next span tag span tag is very very important most of the time it will use what is this span tag is in many situation we want to apply specific font properties to lit less than a whole paragraph or text sometimes sometime example if i want to write something like uh, i want to highlight something from the content at that time like uh, third year it student is good is best so i want to highlight this best in something different color so for that for that you can use the span okay to use the span so what is this span now for example it is often used to have a word or phrase in a line appear in the different font size or color the span tag is designed for this purpose like as i told you this is my sentence and paragraph or phrase here i want to highlight the best so here p style is equals to font weight is bolder means the dark now is the span now is the what is the text now is the best time so span style is equals to font weight is lighter and color is red and best time will be in the red color then span span is close and ever in the normal color clear so this is a way we have to give the span if you did not understand this span tag no problem when we do the practical then you can easily understand this okay and this is very simple this is small code just wherever you are writing before that you need to open the tag and close the tag in the opening the tag you have to give some of the properties okay some of the attributes like style is font weight okay font weight is lighter and color is red so best time will be display in the red color if here i need to give here opening tag for the spam and here i need to close the spam so for that the best will be whatever the color you want that will be in that color it will be appear okay so this is a span tag next div is very very important when we design whole website okay division is very important in the website it is common for document to have section each consists of some number of paragraphs that have their own presentation style using style class on paragraph you can do this with what has already been discussed it is more convenient however to the able to apply a style to a section of a document rather than to each paragraph this is called done with the div tag in the div tag if you write number of paragraphs also no problem you can give uh, you no need to give the style to each paragraph if you give the style if you give the style to the only div then that will be applied for all paragraph example div class primary so i have written the css code css code for pro primary only and i am using so many number of paragraph so this primary cascading style sheet can be used for all paragraphs automatically it will apply no need to mention here like style no need to mention if you apply the css style to this property primary here for this div then no need to apply for the 
paragraph automatically it will apply to this paragraph. So, this is an example for diff. Next, CSS positioning. Positioning is one of the important thing. Where do you want to display your things? Okay, from left, right, top. Okay, dynamically from the JavaScript to change the positioning style property of an element. So, this is too important. Like here, another style of property is position. Inter interact with left and top to provide a higher level of control of placement and movement of element. The proper position property has three possible values. First one is absolute, second one is relative and third one is static. So, we will see absolute, relative and static then we will stop the class and our unit one will also finish. So, absolute. What is absolute? Absolute is nothing but the absolute value of the position is specific when the element is to be placed. Like absolute means in the whole website, where do you want to display your image? Where do you want to display your text or anything? For that, if so, for that, we will use the absolute positioning. For example, if a paragraph of text is uh, appeared 100 pixel from the left, 100 pixel from the left means 100 px is left edge and 200 pixels from the top of a display window, the following element could be used. Positioning absolute left 100 px, top 200 px. So, whatever the text will be display, it will give the position and it will display at that place only, okay, absolute. Whenever you want, you can give the position and you can change the position. Once use of absolute positioning is a super improvised special uh, text imposes special text over a paragraph of ordinary text to create an effect similar to a watermark on a paper. Okay, watermark on a paper. Watermark means at the background of this text, something it will be displayed. Like if you have written the OU exam, in the OU exam at the background, you can see the logo of OU. Okay, so that is called watermark. What is relative? Relative is a position property, said a relative whose top and left property are given value. They displayed the element by the specific amount from the positioning where it would be would have been placed if top and left had not been set. You have to set the top and left in the absolute. If you did not set, then relative will be there. Automatically, it will check for the previous. If we do not have, then it will placed, okay. As per the browser or server, how it is responding, based on that, it will react. Static. Default value is a position property is static. A statically positioned element cannot have it top or left property initially set or change later. The statically placed element initially cannot be displayed from its normal position and cannot be moved from the position later. So, this is about the three things, three position. Most of the time it will use relative position and absolute position, most of the time in the website. So, here we saw the positioning, we saw the div, we saw the span, we saw the how to add the background image and we saw the margin, we saw the padding and we saw the code. In the next class, we are going to see the practical session of all those things, whatever we have learned about CSS, okay. So, till then, thank you and bye.